Alright, no super shocking surprise in school this time! <laughs> Alright, what's up people? It's Friday and we are here today with a, with a craft that I just call Rethink 1. So I want to start rethinking the way I'm crafting these aircraft. And so, you know, this one is using more of a wing, body wing type design. And I wanted to see how stable I could get this thing when I started designing it. And it ended up being a really nice surprise for me. Alright, so we're going to kick on our engines here. And we're going to go up for a quick flight. Because this one surprised me. Surprises me a lot, to tell you the truth. It was, I originally I was building this to be an SSTO. And I wanted to be able to carry passengers. A lot of passengers. Then I found that, hey, this wheel is just wants to be a dickhead. That wheel just wants to be a dickhead to me. I can't do it. I've tried to do everything I could with it. And it, they, they just do not agree with me right now. So I'm just letting those wheels back there dance until I actually decide on doing anything else with them. Now, the reason I have Weasley on the back here, this is the Weasley turbofan engine. This airplane is complete stock. The reason I have the, the turbofan back there is because it assists me with slowing down. That's fantastic, and it's exactly what I want. This engine is more of a taxiing engine to get me from uh, just around different airports. I know for when Kerbal City, Kerbal City's pack actually jumps up to 1.2. Hopefully, it's going to jump up to 1.2, please. <laughs> if and when, then I'll be able to use this to taxi myself around to the different landing pads within. Uh, for the different cities and splits, which is really exciting because I really am waiting to see how that pans out. So we need to go ahead and kick on our real engines here and we can turn off these ones now. Now these are to get us up nice and high. This is, think of this to be like an executive aircraft. It's taking your, your high level, your, your really high five star pilots over from one base to the next base. And say you're just like, I don't, I don't want to land them there in a spacecraft, so let's take them on an airplane. So I wanted to do a nice little airplane design, and this one actually came out really well. I just still can't, I, it still surprises me how well it came out. I wanted to have Concord type, uh, Concord type design, and ended up with this, believe it or not. And the stability is ridiculous. The stability is god dang ridiculous. And I'll show you what it looks like in the hangar because you gotta see. It's, I mean, the lift is up and back. Straight back like that. Ow. That's my desk. It hurt. <laughs> Ow. And so, yeah, this thing ended up surprising me a lot. And we're gonna take this thing up. I thought it would overheat, but it hasn't been overheating, which is even better. So we're gonna take this thing up and see what we can get out of it. I'm having some trouble with it. I think I don't have some of these set properly. I'm pretty sure I don't have some of these set properly. It looks like I have them set properly. I'm gonna turn that yaw off. I don't need that. But but that adds in a little, you know what? We're gonna keep that yaw on. Screw that. Yaw stays on. And let's get up in the upper at mode because right now you see we're picking up speed really slowly. And is this thing, is this thing on and slowing me down? Is that what that was? I was wondering where I was going so slow. I must have hit that when I hit my elbow. And that's, that really did hurt. <laughs> God. All right. So here we are. We're picking up speed. That engine actually does pretty well against those two, uh, against these two Ram engines. That was the, the that, was, that one engine was slowing me down versus two Whiplash Turbo Ramjet engines. Pretty impressive little engine. Little Weasley, pretty impressive. Too bad you're not going to space. But whatever. So this one actually does really well in the upper atmosphere. I would have thought it would burn up. But I've noticed if I get it up next to where these engines perform really well, I can level it out. And we're going to bring this over so you can see it. I can level it all out. And once I level it out, everything stays. Like right now, I need to start leveling out like I didn't. I totally did not level out. Okay. 
Now, now I'm leveling out. <laughs> because I'm running my mouth and not paying attention, that's why. Okay, so we're good there. Um, now, all we need to do is just hold this. And let's see how well we do heat-wise. We're going to take a look. We've been investigating a lot of heat stuff this weekend. Uh, this week. I can't say weekend. It's not the weekend yet. And you see right now, we have Kerbal Engineer Redux installed. Boom! I can't do... My life isn't complete without Kerbal Engineer Redux. I just need you so badly. I'm so glad you're back. All right. Anyhow, let's... Uh, Make sure we're not, nothing's gonna explode on us. And we're just gonna hold this altitude right here as best we can. Now, normally, it's a lot of trouble to hold an aircraft uh, nice and stable once you start getting faster and faster. This one, surprisingly enough, I can take my hands off the controls and it handles itself pretty dang well, which is really awesome because I, I didn't ever think that it would be able to hold itself in such a fashion so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cruise over. I think normally I can make it to the other continent within about six minutes. Um, six, I shouldn't say six minutes. Mission elapsed time within about six minutes of mission elapsed time. Uh, so with me having had, I had my Weasleys activated because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just increased the time it's going to take for me to get over there. <laughs> Now, mind you, this is without any ablative of wings. This is with everything just completely stock, glowing yellow, but we're able to maintain this. Uh, we can get close. To, 1,400 is, the, is always my goal I like to get to, but this craft is not... I think if I didn't have these passenger hatches on here, it would get to 1,400 nice and easy, but I wanted to make a passenger plane, so I wanted to start design with that included. And we're just still cruising... You can, the, you can see over there the continents coming into view. And I believe that... I forgot what city is going over there. Um, but there is a city that is going over there in the... Uh, how's that thrust looking? We need to get down some more. Uh, it's going on the little peninsula over there. And I forgot the name of the city that's supposedly going over there. And I'm pretty sure, I hope, I really hope, <laughs> that that Kerbal Cities pack is coming over. And uh, the good thing is, is that Fire Spitter is mostly good. Do not use the adjustable electric propeller because uh, it crashes my game each time. So that's a heads up. I know they're still busy with 1.2, so don't expect too much until after 1.2 is out. So... We're just going to cruise over like we're coming over to this peninsula to land in the city that would be over there. And we're still looking fantastic. This is why I wanted to use it as an SSTO because it handles the heat beautifully. We're at 1300 and it's still nice and cool. And we're going to show you how well this thing handles because we're going to dip ourselves straight out of this and we're going to watch our G start to go up and do a high G turn and watch all of our passengers scream at the pilot in rage. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? All right, so let's go ahead and dip ourselves down. We're going to turn off our engines there. We're going to turn on our cruising engine, and we're going to dive down really sharp and watch what happens here. Turn ourselves a bit, and this is how we slow ourselves down. Nice little wag to the side. And we should be coming out of this nice and quickly. There we go. So this is what would get us from all that. <laughs> A quick, insane turn like you normally would not do anywhere. But this aircraft allows us to do this. And now we can actually kick on our engine. Reverse engine, full reverse on our engine. <laughs> the stability is ridiculous. All right. So we're slowing down big time, big slowdown. And coming in, we're going to try to touch this thing down. I'm going to try. This area is ridiculously dangerous for this <laughs> it's so 
This may not work at all. We'll find out in a few seconds. Um, how are we looking? We're looking pretty good. We're just going to go for that touchdown, which means I'm going to have to kick this thing back to normal thrust here in a few seconds. All right, here we go. And let's go normal thrust in three, two, one. Normal thrust is up. And let's get that going up a little bit here. All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, let's reverse our engines, full throttle. Brakes like a sun gun. And we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Yes. Oh, my God. That always makes me nervous landing here because you see it is not. I happen to land in the flattest area. So there you go. That is this aircraft I've been working on. And it handles. I built, Like I said, I built it as an SSTO. And it handles amazing so when you build with that idea in your head you can create a craft that will make you rethink the way that you are designing your aircraft and think outside of the box when you're building your aircraft don't still stay to the tried and true think crazy but anyhow i gotta go and help a friend with his car so i'm out of here if you like what you see and hit the like button drop me in the comment let me know what you think and i hope to catch you guys in the next video uh I know I keep saying I'm going to get back into streaming. I, I, I think I may be able to do it on a Friday. I don't know if it's going to be this Friday, but we'll have to see. So stay tuned, and if I can swing it, I will definitely swing it. I got to do some... We had a lot of rain, and let's just say that uh, my sunroof of my truck did not, uh, did not keep the water out. It, didn't, it didn't, did not very well at all. I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is your boy Jatua, I'm out. Peace. You know, damn water every damn where. I don't have felt like it. <laughs> Alright, sorry. If you're still here for the video, then yay! You, anyone else that ran off, you don't get to see this. So, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Alright, so let me show you. I did say I was going to show you all this. So, I don't make a liar out of me. So there you go, there's your thrust, you see my lift, and there is my center of mass. You see that lift is going up and back, which is very, you, you can use that as a reference, but it's not 100% correct. I have a lot of times uh, gotten away with things I shouldn't have gotten away with because like I said, it's a reference. It's mostly accurate as long as you have your lift behind your mass and your thrust centered on something, you should be okay. I can't even see because, like I said, I've broken all the rules and made things that shouldn't fly, fly. Because once you start angling your wings, those get thrown off, and here I have angles on my wings. Things get thrown off and cause all sorts of havoc. But anyhow, I'm out of here. Peace! That was like a bonus, yay! No more of that big face guy. That's all right. I, I like my face. <laughs> so we're going to keep her nice and steady. But we're going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm losing my damn mind! Okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy around, around orbit because...